Newbie, point of reference here. Are we staying in the AFC or are we going to Philly, Tampa? Oh, I think we're ready to go to Philly, Tampa. And okay, I, let's do I, I don't know if I like it with all this chalk that we're eating with the favorites. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have you chime in on this, being right there in Philly and being, a, being an Eagle fan. Okay, Dave, right? Uh, Tampa Bay, eight and a half point favorite. Total sitting uh, 48 and a half, 49, depending 49, on where you look much, here. Yeah, yep. So so matchup wise, the the overarching narrative is Philly's got to run the football. You can't run against the Tampa defense. Mm -hmm. But the Tampa run defense hasn't been the same in the back half of the season or the last mm -hmm. few games of the season. Can Philly run it against Tampa? Can they keep it within a touchdown here? Or is this just Brady's going, injuries don't matter, whoever they throw out there with Brady, Gronk's going to catch a billion balls. You lay the heavy chalk here. Philly can't keep up. They can't beat a team above 500. Take the Bucks. What are you doing here? Do you have any stuff factor or anything like that here? <laughs> no, I won't, I won't give you stuff right now. I, need, I, I, was using, I was hoping for some stuff factor for this one because that is the handicap. Can Philly run the football? I mean, because that's what Philly does. That's what the uh -huh. Eagles do is they run the football. What Tampa does, and Tampa does at home especially, is score points. They just put it up. I mean, they, they have blown out teams this season at home. Haven't really done that on the road. We're not have to worry about Tampa on the road until the NFC Championship. As far as the line, you can't make this thing 10 because you know you're going to get an automatic bet on the Eagles. You can't make this thing seven or seven and a half because you don't have to. You're going to lay it with the Bucks. Okay. When we talk about this, you know, on cash considerations, the other podcast that I do with Newbie and Carl, um, where the line tells you the story the to me this screams screams taking the eagles plus the points Ooh. okay you you, you have to take the eagles plus the points you have to put this number at eight and a half to protect against the teasers tampa bay's in every single teaser every single teaser it's tom brady he's the mvp by the way if you haven't heard they're going to vote him the mvp now so they don't have to vote rogers and, and everything else i'm not saying he should win it or he is the mvp but that's what they're going to vote I think this game, I think the Eagles are long shot live. Let's put it that way. I think they can win the game, but Tampa's got to give it to them. They, they have to win the turnover battle. They have to. And they have to get um, a special game. Not a Stenson Bennett game, but they need a special game from Jalen Hurts. I think he's capable of giving it to him. But I think the points are to play. The total is tough. I like under. I think if you like the dog and you like the running team, yeah, you have to fit. You have to favor the under. So now I just gave you dog, and I gave you under, and you didn't cringe. You didn't even make that noise that you made on game within the game when I gave you the Texans again, and the Texans covered again. So you comfortable with the dog here? I don't comfortable is probably not the right word. Oh, well, you're squirming. You're doing that thing. Again. It's not the right word. So if you mm -hmm. want to put them, you said mm -hmm. it teaser and get me under a field goal. Okay. I feel better. Yeah. Lay in a big number. I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, that's the handicap is can Tampa Bay return to its early season run defense form. But look at, uh, let me give you some numbers here. Go to, go to PFF again in these last few games in terms of a run defense grade. And that's on a scale of zero to 100, just like we would in school. Okay. Against the Falcons, a 35 run defense grade. That's bad. Against the against the Bills, 46. Not good. Against the Jets, 42. What? The Jets? I gave you I gave you Falcons and Jets, and that's Tampa's run grade against those two. Can Jalen Hurts and company find a way to run the football? It feels like maybe they can. And what about the offensive weapons for Tampa Bay? This isn't the same Tampa Bay team, although they've what they've won seven of eight. So, I mean, I feel like they're not quite clicking. They've won seven of eight. May have been addition by subtraction, the whole AB thing. What a, what, what a distraction that must have been. And then, like, I don't know if you saw the NFL films thing I posted just last night. I was watching Gronk got his million Gronk, bucks. Yeah. Catching yeah. the catching the passes. Um Philly's got a I think if we hit Brady a little bit too, we can keep this thing close. I, I I'm telling you, this is the first game on sat on Sunday 
and I think it's going to play to the under. And I just, I, I, I'm on the Eagles. I, I don't know how high this is going to go though, because I, it's that it's sitting in that middle zone of anywhere. Once you get over seven, you get to the seven and a half, you it's a 10. It's almost all the same number, but now with the two point conversion being so prevalent, you got to get it over eight, which it is, but it ain't going to 10. The bet's coming at 10. The big bet is coming. So we know in a book, you know that. So now you're going to float maybe between eight and a half, nine and a half, which to me is one move. You never see a football game in the NFL nine. Very rarely you go right from eight and a half to nine and a half. You might touch 10. Somebody might in a room or upstairs in the office say, go get some Eagle money. I don't want to need that game for half a million dollars or seven, a million dollars, but I like the birds. All right. Well, this is, this is a classic personal showdown with you and me. I, if Eagles, if I'm not on the Eagles and they cover, I'm going to be beside myself. <laughs> I didn't listen to you, but if Tampa Bay, I'm going to say, see, I told you I should have just eaten the chalk. Now you got me conflicted. All right. Now you got me conflicted. All right. We'll look, I will look at some Gronk props though, coming up too. Uh, now I, they, I was going to say B how is for the prop players. Gronk overs are going to be beautiful. Eagles yeah. are bad against tight ends. They've allowed a touchdown to tight ends in 10 of their 18 games. The first meeting, there was no Gronk. They still gave up 75 yards to OJ Howard and Cameron Brait. I think Gronk is live receptions, yards. I would be playing all of that, especially with the detraction of, uh, of the skill players that you kind of pointed out there. So I, I think that's an astute point that shouldn't just go unmentioned. I, I think tight end props are live to go over, especially Gronk, anytime touchdown score. Mm, very good. Nice. One. I like it. I, not only do I like it when Newbie chimes in, but he's going to give you a number, Dave, 10 out of 18 games. They've given up a touchdown to tight ends. I like that even better. Way to go, Newbie. Well done. You're, Gosh, definitely, well gonna, play. you're definitely going to play Gronk to score a touchdown, anytime touchdown, aren't you? No question. <laughs> I may have already done it. <laughs> <laughs> no question. Stay focused, All dude. Right. Stay focused. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, Click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.